I spend more money on coffee than I do on alcohol. And people might think I'm a bit psychotic for doing this. But I used to just be like, woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee, and thank you so much for joining me today on this video. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have so much content coming your way in the next few months while I'm in lockdown, currently training at drama school. So if you want to see like drama school based things, then I have loads of videos on my channel that are drama school based. And somebody actually asked me to film this video, so you asked, I give. This is going to be me talking about how I budget at drama school, um, sort of some tips and tricks and things. And you can kind of watch this if you're also wondering about budgeting for university. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to get straight in with the video. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. So, first of all, drama schools are all different. Um, so some drama schools you cannot get student finance for. They are not under a university sort of um, funding system and finance system. So for some drama schools, it's like £13,000 a year and you get no student finance, etc, etc. So for those drama schools, I don't know how those people budget it, but mine is very different to that. So I go to East 15 Acting School and it's actually part of the University of Essex. So it didn't used to be, but now that it is, it allows students to have student finance, student loans, etc. So I pretty much have the same sort of a budgeting system or in the sense of student finance that someone that goes to university would have, um, a normal university. The course is £9,250 per year and I get student finance. So obviously everyone gets different amounts of money for student finance and that can really play a part into how you budget your years at drama school or university depending on how much money you sort of have access to from a loan or from family or from yourself if you have a job at the same time that counteract like that plays different parts in how you would budget I would say so personally I have the amount of money I have per year and I split it into three for three terms and usually give myself more money for the final term because it's a bit longer and usually more things are going on in summer like more social activities um, you want to go out with your friends more in summer I think so I split the money into the three terms and I have spreadsheets me and my dad go through a budget spreadsheet of what roughly I think I'll need to spend each year on stationery, clothes, toiletries, transport, food, things like that. So we do that together and then I try and roughly stick to that. Sometimes I even beat it and don't even spend anything on some of the things and blah blah blah. Then that's what we do before I go in September each first and second year I did that. And then myself, uh, when I'm at university, I have my own spreadsheets for each term. And people might think I'm a bit psychotic for doing this, but I literally write down everything I spend. And I know a lot of students wouldn't do this because they'd probably be absolutely terrified by what they spend. But if I didn't do this, then I wouldn't be able to keep in balance. I wouldn't know sort of how much money I had left to last me the term. And I know so many people that don't budget properly and then they end up going like minus and minus thousands whatever because they're just like woo and it's sometimes it's spent on things that are irrelevant have a budget sheet i budget my food shops but if there's something i want when i'm out when i'm food shopping then i'll get it um and it varies week to week by the end of last term i was managing to do like one big food shop every two weeks and then just buying fresh fruit and veg from the market um, every like time I run out so that's a really good tip is buying fresh fruit and veg from market stalls the one that we have is so much cheaper than supermarkets it's actually ridiculous go to the market stall for food shopping it's amazing and if you can get to like an Aldi or a Lidl they're so much cheaper and um, also sharing food with friends does help we don't really do that that much just because we all have like different dietary requirements and things like that I know that a lot of students actually do that and share meals together we sometimes do it on the weekends um or if like one of us is run out of something we'll just share it like we're not gonna 
be weird about that. Also, we try not to go out for meals too much. Like, if it's someone's birthday, we might go out for a meal, or we might go to Spoons for something, um, or a cafe, but we very rarely go out for food. And then with drinking, it's different for us because we can only really go out drinking once or twice a week um, because of our schedule. So we would only really go out on a Friday or a Saturday. Um, and then the, the rest of drinks would count as coffees. So I know I spend way too much money on coffee. I, I'm guilty as charged. I spend more money on coffee than I do on alcohol. Actually, probably like five times the amount I probably spend on coffee than I do on alcohol. So I think just knowing where you spend your money and allowing yourself to budget that works really well. So we don't go out drinking that much, but then we spend money in different ways just to kind of keep going with our course. Um, but I would say if you are like going out a lot, then I don't know, pre-drink loads and then <laughs> get to the club before you have to pay ridiculous amounts to get in. I don't know. Um, it's quite hard for me to judge based on like a university perspective because that's not what I am at. And then other things, so like clothes, I love clothes, so I choose to spend my money on clothes, um, but I do budget it in, I don't spend ridiculous amounts, I don't go shopping every single week and buy new outfits, because we don't go out a lot, I don't feel like I need loads of new outfits, so I only get stuff if I really want it, or if I have a fancy dress party, or like, I don't know, I love clothes though, so I do buy clothes quite often. The other thing, like toiletries, I don't know, just stock up on cheap ones, um, that's all I really have to say about that. Stationery, again, I mean, luckily for me, our household seems to just have so much stationery from when me and my brother went to school. So we just have loads of leftovers and we've just been using those at university. We haven't been buying like new packs of pens and everything because we just have so much in the house. So that has been cheap for me. <laughs> Transport, I would say if you're gonna go and visit home or visit unis, um, or, like other people or whatever, then book your train tickets like three weeks in advance you'll save so much money have a student rail card the 16 to 25 one that saves you like 33 percent or something off every trip it's amazing yeah and if you can get like buses maybe get buses they're probably a lot cheaper and i know a lot of people bring their cars because it's a lot cheaper to drive home than get the train home etc so yeah, I, they're my tips for transport. I mean, I get the train quite often into London, but it's less than, it's like, well, it changes all the time, but it's less than £10 for a return, usually, and then it's the tube fare, so it's not too bad for a day trip in London, which I like doing, because I like London. But I very rarely, like, come home or go and visit other universities. I usually do, like, one trip per term to somewhere else and yeah it varies in prices books i know that some unis have a massive reading list and some drama schools have a massive reading list and you have to spend quite a lot of money on books we have a very good library that has a lot of plays and drama school resources um because obviously my campus is mainly drama students so that's amazing and we don't have to pay for those free access to all of that we also have um a lot of online sources that we get so we don't have to buy plays all the time there are some we have to buy and um, some books that we have to buy to help with our course but usually the maximum is like 10 15 quid and it's very rare that we have to buy them um, usually we can find them online so that's also a way that we budget all of us to kind of be cheaper um, we do quite a lot of arts and craftsy projects on my course so buying materials like that obviously comes into the budget but again I just work that out with the budget that I have and what I need. I don't go out and buy unnecessary things so I won't really buy like what I would class as like stupid things but some people might think that you need them. Like I, I don't decorate my uni room with loads of new stuff that I want to buy. I don't go out to spoons every night drinking because I can't physically do that anyway. Yeah, I would say I spend most of my money on food, just my weekly shop, and coffee. I'm trying to think what else I would even spend money on. I don't have Netflix subscription because my brother pays for it. I don't have Spotify Premium. I don't have any apps that I pay for. The only thing I pay for other than this, oh, I pay for the gym. So my gym membership is like, 19.99 per month which is very good for the gym that it is um i used to pay less at a different gym but it was a bit of a walk away i could never be bothered to walk there i did but i couldn't really be bothered to do it so i moved gyms and it's 
like always empty it's amazing and there's a studio that's usually free you can literally go in there and do whatever you want if you want like a one-on-one -on -one training they literally just do it for you so 19.99 per month is amazing for that so that's a subscription kind of thing that goes out every month and then the only other thing is my youtube editing software which i pay like 40 pounds a year for and yeah that just comes out like february or march every year which again because it's so spread out in the long term I don't feel like it really happens. <laughs> the only other things I can think of are makeup. I spend quite a lot of money on makeup, but that's because I like it. It's um, jewellery and hair products, things like that. They're things that I choose to spend my own money on. So that is what I work in the holidays to pay for. So that is not coming out of really like my student finance or like my parents' money. My own money goes on my clothes, most socialising, and my hair, makeup, jewellery things. That is how I budget. I write a spreadsheet, I write out every single thing I spend, I add it up and the way I do it is I transfer from bank accounts so I know that I can't spend loads of my student finance in one go, which is a very good tip. I hope this helps. It's not very drama school related. It, it is because obviously I don't spend the money that normal uni students go out a lot more drinking and eating and things like that, which I know. But Basically, it's different for all drama schools depending on the finance system and whether it's part of a university or not. And this is just how I budget. I'm very strict at budgeting. I will, all my friends will tell you that. I don't know, I'll spend money on clothes, like, and then I'll be like, what, two pounds for an avocado? But I'll spend like 20 quid on a new top. So that's my way of budgeting. <laughs> I just hope this helps anyone. If you are at university or drama school, maybe you struggle with budgeting um, and I used to, I used to just be like woo, but this system of making a spreadsheet and going through it every so often and seeing what you've got to spend for the next couple of weeks or what you've just spent and you might be like oh okay I've spent a bit too much the past couple of weeks, maybe I should cut it down a bit and also separating your money per term so you don't get to third term and not have any money left, that is a good tip. I hope. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it helped somebody out there with budgeting for drama school. If you like videos like this then let me know, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I will be uploading a few more drama school related things. I feel like I'm always just sat here talking at the minute because I've not really got time to be doing an active video because I'm actually currently doing drama school training Monday to Friday so I'm busy. I will be doing a day in the life or a week in the life of a drama school student online so stay tuned for that that will probably come about next week so stay tuned if you have any video suggestions that you want for lockdown anything drama school related just lockdown related then let me know and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this or like any of my other videos have a great day and stay safe everybody thank you for watching Bye my beautiful people I feel like I just go crazy at the end every time but everyone must think I'm really monotonous for the rest of the video Peace out bitches